Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the second episode of Ivan Konev's Russia. So, we're going to be continuing where we left off anyway, so let's just jump right in. I don't want to bo bore you people. So anyway, we'll be choosing the Ultra Visionaries Retain Their Dominance under this guy, because, like, come on. Oh yeah, and Khrushchev, you're about to be annihilated, so I really don't care. <laughs> Even though they're neo-communists neo under the KPSS NSB or whatever, they're revolutionary. Which... I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, here it is. Ending Berea's legacy of disunity. Berea's incompetent leadership led to the splintering of the USSR and the creation of these traitors, pretender regimes. Preparing for unification. Alright boys, we're going to be unifying this country back on its feet if it's the last thing we do. Let's see. I'm not sure about... Oh, and also, don't forget, I'm still basically supporting the, Ma the Malayan emergency, so, uh... Okay, you know what, maybe I should support the Malayan emergency, like, come on, I need to support them. I'm the only one propping them up still, and it's kind of crazy at this point. Let's see... Oh, we can intervene in this conflict. But I'm still supporting them. Okay, maybe they should get like, um... Okay, maybe they should get like some aircrafts like me. Okay, so... Jet fighters and tactical bombers. Oh. Oh, Frenchman Weigand assassinated. Oof, that, that's gotta hurt. Air Force Department. Maybe I could also take the t Maybe I could also take this time to I don't know invade the southern invade the southern areas. Oh yeah, the railway guns. Oh yeah, they can only go through this much area and that's how much range they can fire. Okay. Oh good. Wait, I want to see how the icons are for it. Oh wow. But why are they not following the railway lines? That's just... That's just kind of weird, though. They're not following the railway lines, like, completely. It's weird. But, <laughs> Germany, I cannot believe you ba you basically screwed yourself over way too early. early. Like, if you screw yourself way too early, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Hmm... I could choose this as an opportunity to reclaim the Caucasus and Ukraine back all at once. But I want to handle Khrushchev first. There we go. And let's begin the conquest. A mass, def a mass defectionist? Disturbing news that our armies have chosen to defect to the enemy. They will regret this. Mm -hmm. They will regret it indeed. Yep, but at least we're ending Beria's legacy of disunity. Because his disunity has gone off long enough. Oh, except a uh, non-aggression pack. All right, but man, but Manzukov, you looking like you you having trouble there, buddy? Oh yeah, national Bolshevism. Lead Lead Brezhnev. I I would not even think of a day where I see Lead Brezhnev actually being a national Bolshevist. That that that's just. I don't know how I feel about that. 
Anyway, while that war is going, maybe I could start the war in the, start the war in the liberation of the Caucasus, at least for the first glance. So let's, let's change the music. There we go. End of the tour. And now. And now that we have Western... Re now that we're going to try to liberate all of the Caucasus. Let's go for it. Mm-hmm. Interception. Yep, it's always good to have Air Force with you, and my god, my god, a Toronto Accord, you're actually doing good, good in declaring war on the Axis in Europe, and also taking over the Kingdom of Norway. But, wait, hold on. Okay, this is strangely weird. How come Norway is a social democracy, they're part of a new German New Order, and they're being invaded. They're a social democracy, which they should have transferred to the Toronto Accord, but like, they stayed in the New Order Alliance under Germany for some reason? That's just kind of confusing, I don't understand that. It's, it's just weird, I don't know why. Alright, that's one of the many Caucasus states down, so like... Rostov on the Don. Finally, we ended Berea's legacy. Prepare for unification, expand the military. Stockpiling the supplies of unification. Oh, I have to select a Doctrine. Battlefield support. Let's see, Naval support, trade in prediction. Let's see, land or- oh, Combine Operations Doctrine, I'm gonna need that. The Dawn Free State has collapsed, so let's do that. Alright, things are going swell. Alright, now we're heading down all the way. Finally, the Republic of Novozoburst just collapsed. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have Exile Divisions? Oh. Oh yeah, because in the... In the Yakensky sort government, I forgot. But don't worry, they'll be heading back down. Okay, let's just delete that and. Oh, I have two parts, I don't know why. There we go. Okay, time to focus on the, um, the other smaller region. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I guess that means I don't really need... Oh, never mind then. Take all of the states. Now it's just Armenia left. 
even though they're reactionary nationalists, which is... I don't know how I feel about that, but it's kind of... yeah. And look, their capital, their, the side of their capital isn't even defended, like, that's not even fair. Oh, I see, they're basically over there. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I see, there's other railway lines. Hmm. Wow. I don't know, I don't know why, but... I don't know why, but, like, after this... Ah, the Soviet... Re Reclamation government. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, this event is gonna take long, so let me cancel that. And let me do something about it. There we go. I was able to expand more into the national focus tree a bit, but. Yeah, that was it. Hmm. Finally, Albania collapsed. I was gonna I was gonna think they would never collapse at all. I mean Armenia, I don't know why I said. Mm-hmm. Oh, the state of oh no wonder. I almost thought that Armenia and Georgia were united. That's kinda strange. The morning of D Day. Reintegrate Novozobersk. Reintegrate Turkestan. Oh, Russian reunification, so I can be able to demand Karelia if I control Vladivostok. Nice. Restore the order of the National Republic of Ukraine. Ooh, the country is not the National Republic of Ukraine. Yeah, it's not there. Restore order to the Krynosk government. Restore order to Central Asia, Turkestan. I have it all, when you think about it. Heh. <laughs> Funny. State of Georgia. I got the co- well, I got the Caucasus back, let's see. Ah, I see. Okay, so I can basically do ads- I can basically do only, only, only two, only one of this. Rehabilitate the Serov faction. So that means, you know, you know, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna invade the, 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 the two governments just for good measure. Go, my- go, my pretties, go! Right. Hmm? How did one of the armies that far get- get there? Like, come on. Say what? <laughs> How is the Krenesk Soviet government also at war with... <laughs> okay, I, I don't really want to know the details, but yeah. <laughs> well, Zukov and Brezhnev, I'm sorry, but there can only be one Soviet government. Also, I need to speed things up. This is getting boring. Mivalent Digilas elected.
Hmm. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can rehabilitate the Therov and re rehabilitate the committee. Hmm. Recruitable population factor, negative 3%. three, three percent. Exper Army experience gain, infantry division. Great, now Germany is in its civil war. That's what we needed. The German Civil War, the Burger Krieg, starts. I'll rehabilitate the Serov faction. <laughs> yep. Add Ivan Serov. Ivan Serov faction was influential in the former region government. With the region now under our control, this faction can be rehabilitated and with some encouragement brought into the side of our government. Oh. They declared- Oh, which area declared war in West Burgerland? Ah, restore- Oh, I can basically do this now. Hold on, let me just move that army out of the way. Okay. Let's see now. Restore order to to the Komazar Ukraine. Let me... Okay. Oh, so I can basically... Whoa! So I can basically also do this in Ostland? Oh, boy! Time to start the adventure in Ostland. Because now, uh... Huh? Time to start the adventures in Oslan, because that's what I'm going to do right now. I swear, if Oslan ever divides into a civil war by the time, I will not let that happen. Restore order to Komazar Ostland. So this will give my armies time to prepare. Mm-hmm. Restore order to sent to Central Asia, Turkestan. Mm-hmm. The Konev Guard. Let's see which other aircraft I need. A Jet Cast 1960. I'm gonna need a Scout Plane. There we go. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't even build up my factories. I'm such a douche. Gotta keep building up them factories. As they say, infantry, infantry and like infrastructure don't build itself, you know. Oil refineries, I'm gonna need those. Oh, but I'm also gonna have to dot every airport with every jet fighter I have. And since I have 4.85 million manpower, I don't see that as a problem for me. So, that's just easy pickings. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry you might have heard that beep right there again. I don't know why, but every time the shift button for me really is annoying. Mm -hmm. Let's cancel that, and we have more Air Force, and... Let's see. Restore order to Asia Turkestan. I have five more days left so I can send in some units there. Huh. 
Okay, so for East Russia, I better prepare my for forces over there so I don't miss miss anything. I, you know, maybe I should also create a new division template for like for like medium aircrafts. I mean, for uh, create a yeah, an empty one for like tanks, support anti-tank, military police, signal company, logistics. This time I want one with modern tanks, or maybe just, um, hmm, medium tank. How about just, um, heavy tank? With, um, mechanized infantry, because I'm going to need those. Heavy tank again, heavy tank. All right, final. <laughs> Let's go. Does it really take that long? Does it really take that long to like try to re to reform to like get each government in our faction? All right, now let's do this. Let's see which else. Mm-hmm. Turkestan and the national state are about to... Mm-hmm. Their Turkestan... Tajik national state is a puppet of Turkestan, so I have to declare war on them just to gain back my lands. And so... I'm not letting Oslan divide itself up and become, like, its own mess so I have to do this quick before any other movements happen. <laughs> it's gonna be funny as heck. Oh let me use my air force now okay in the Baltic States air exception and they also own a part of Eastern Poland, so... Yep. Here come the Poles! Oh, the Republic of Iceland wants a non-aggression pact, as well as the Kingdom of Belgium. I don't mind. Okay. Oh, the Southwest Red Army Command doesn't have, like, a command? Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Russo ukrainian tensions. Generally united in their love of the motherland, Ukraines and Russians still hold mild disapproval toward each other. Hmm. I mean, it's not surprising. The red tide sweeps eastward. With Siberia retaking, only one obstacle remains to reunify the east. The so-called Russian Republic based in, based in Vladivostok. Alright, hang on, there we go, uh, let's see here, we shall get war bonds, propaganda against the greater German Reich, mm -hmm. we just got back Minx, Minx Russia, so that's a good sign. need to keep building up my industry the USSR will be industrial like the old days and I will not let that slip my grasp there we go. Ostland is almost done for. 
And since the colony is taken by no one... Mm hmm Okay, I can send an attaché to Britain. Oof. The German... The German Reich has just been... Oh... Oh, Mr. Propaganda Man is in power now? Oh, Turkestan just... Oh, Turkestan kicked the bucket, and so... Well, that's a good sign, finally. Hmm, okay, now let's see. Oh, I have to be at peace in order for this to happen. Oh boy, it's going to be the Coraline Pocket all over again. Oh, never mind. Take all the states. Huh. Quebec votes for independence. Viva la Quebec. Wow, that... Wow. With President Gillis Gre Gregory as its president. But hey, at least he joined the Toronto Accord, so that's something. And George A. Du... A... Who? Oh my god! I think Drew might be in the game as a Canadian. Who knows? If y'all if if know the YouTuber Drew Durno, maybe like the last name Drew really should get you to understand, like, maybe Drew is a Canadian. He may be a Californian, but he's controlling Canada in the, Canada in the game. Just being second fiddle to the United States. Integrate, reintegrate Ostland back into Russia. Destroy, let's see. Restore order to the South Army Command. Restore order to the, to the right Komazar Ukraine. Destroy... Yep, I'm basically going all full out. Heavy water. Yeah, I mean, the patience for doing this is kind of slow, but it kind of pays off the dividends. Okay, you know what? Let, let's... let's Okay, but now I'm also at war with the East with East Russia. So now that means I have to make sure I supply my troops to kick the Russian Republic's butt. Okay, heavy tank template. Which I know I'm gonna have to create like a heavy a heavy tank conversion, so I have to make sure I do that right now. Anti-tank, me mechanized, and heavy tank. 1960 heavy tank. Alright. Heavy machine gun. Small cannon. Radio, modern radio. Alright. Bogey suspension. Let's see. Oh, heavy armaments. Special module, early GPS. The max speed is below four point is below the four point kilometer minimum. Okay now okay, now we're getting into some hot water now, so I better uh make this make this snappy quick. I must not let them get any upper hand in anything, so... Mm-hmm. And so the second army here will help them. So while they're taking care of... Oh, I almost forgot. I better say... I better send order restored to Denmark. Hold on. Let me restore. Oh, Southwest Army Command capitulated already? 
Well, that was quick. Let me just send a few units up to Mr. Mustache Manberg to, to reclaim the city. Okay, Gotten Land is basically on my nerves as of this point, but, uh... Too bad they don't even have any air support, which is kind of... which is kind of sad. Region-wide region in industry integration. Mm-hmm. Come on. They're, they're already at... Okay, now they already reach... Finally, it renamed to Petrograd. Mm -hmm. Oh man, now the British... Now the British made a landing in northern Germany. This is going to be a crazy fun time. But it's funny that the British are only declaring war on the Greater German Reich, but not the Wehrstadt or the Ordstadt. I did not want that music on here. What about Krakow? Region-wide appropriation. Oh, the Russian Republic is still at a... It's still at a certain stalemate, but I'm able to, like, get some extra. Oh, never mind. At least I'm able to, um, take all the states. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm. I better. I should better handle um the Gottenland troops right now because they're getting on my nerve and they're already divided as it is. Buy war bonds. Every Russian should buy war bonds. We should not be. <laughs> it's funny because uh. Units cannot come into this province. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't even bother to declare war on this area, which is kind of strange. Okay, so let's... Tr the Germans are crushed in the Ukraine. Ukraine will never be stable again. Oh, contraire. That's where you're wrong. Because I have something that Gottenland doesn't. Armies. And Air Force. It's... It's a good combination. Alright. Like, and I'm not doing this. This doesn't, this doesn't even seem fair, and... Gottenland only has, like, one unit of armies? Like, like, come on, Got- like, come on, Gottenland, Crimea, yeah, you're not even putting up much of a fight. Like, I mean, you did when you got- but you only got, like, this far around the Caucasus and southern Ukraine, but, like, <laughs> y'all couldn't do any better. Restore order to the National Republic of Ukraine. Oh.
good. Hmm. Okay, this is taking too... Okay, this is taking too long in the Russian Republic, so... Let's just speed things up, because I want to continue the focus tree. Like, come on, I don't have time to waste. China denounces Vietnam, Treaty of Honolulu. Not surprising, as always. Mm-hmm. Like, just head on down the... Isn't there any reg- Okay, this is, um, okay, this is surprising. No, that's not good. Let's see. End of a tour. Okay, that's a better one. That's, that's a better one. I like that. Let's see. Strike, strike against the Polish home army? I don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. Strike against the... Ah, who cares, I'm just... I'll add that into the list. Mm-hmm. Oh! The fin... Oh! I instantly demanded Karelia and... I just got it back. No problem. Immediate explosion of TA of Toronto Accord capitalists. Heavy Having kicked out the reactionaries out of Vladivostok in the Far East, capitalists and advisors of all kinds from the Western Toronto Accord powers who have been aiding our enemy have been captured by our forces will not bring harm to foreign citizens, but such dangerous foreign elements must be immediately expelled so they cannot once again threaten our nation. Couldn't have said it better myself, honestly. The Swiss Revolution. I'm not worried about no Swiss re Swiss revolution. Oh boy. Oh. Cease fire in Switzerland. What a fight. I don't know why, but the Malayan emergency are so cr are actually happy that they're still maintaining some semblance, which is kind of a feat to be sure. <laughs> like, the Malayan emerge- Oh boy, this is gonna be good times indeed. The end of a horty regime. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Wait, hold on, I forgot something. There we go, I forgot to do that, but... Meh. Mm-hmm. The Slovenian Declaration... What else? Wow, like, wow, that doesn't even seem fair, by the way, like... 
like the National Republic of Ukraine doesn't even have an army for cr for crying out loud. Start of a Benelux revolution. All of Mother Russia has been united once more. And the fall of And the fall of Warsaw happens now. Warzawa, or just Warsaw. Take all of Poland. Okay, now we have to rebuild Sevastopol. Let's see. The occupation, the liberation of Poland. Liberate Poland. Mm -hmm. Stop. Uh, stop. Oh, it should have been a covenant, a a covenist, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. I've sent. Mil it's funny how I sent a military attaché to Britain, and I'm supporting the Malayan National Liberation Army in British Malaya, which is kind of crazy. It's like I'm playing groups off of each other. Let's see. Reinstating the bygone Soviets. The f the Far Eastern Soviets abolished under the capitalist Vladivostok must be reinstated. As we seek to restore our legitimate control over the Far East, municipal government Governments and local organizations of all kinds will be restored and begin regular political operations under the supervision of our occupation forces. All right, com all right, comrades. We already reunited much of much of our homeland, but we still have but we still need to sack the Sakhalin Islands, or maybe we don't need it. Hmm. The People's Republic of Poland. The Prahak Milovsk. Yeah, it's kind of hard how to say the name. I think this is a, I think this is where I'm gonna stop for now in the second episode, but as you can see, like the Soviet reclamation government in Konev's regime, you can basically say this happened all in just one video, which is kind of weird. I've never, normally I've done it like in two or three episodes, but this one, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you comrades love this episode, and I'll see you guys, guys, and I'll see you guys in other ladies and comrades in episode 3 when we go further down the tree.